Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. I'm on Brick Set here, and it looks like we just got our first images of a 90th anniversary Lego set. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to have a look here. Uh, so it is a classic set, so right away we know that means it's just going to be fairly basic. Um, that is what the classic line is. Uh, it's just traditional kind of building uh, from more basic bricks. Uh, but I suspect that we'll see more sets under this 90th anniversary label in the future. Uh, but this is the first one. It's uh, going to cost 49 euros, which I expect will translate to probably 50 or 60 United States dollars. And this is really what intrigues me here, is that it's essentially a bunch of miniature versions of sets through LEGO's history. Uh, and this is the, just the one that stood out to me, is I saw this uh, picture here of Tahu, and I was like, oh, Bionicle! And then I saw this, and I just laughed. I, I think it's kind of adorable and silly, and really not at all what I expected, uh, but um, I guess I appreciate the fan service. Anyway, um, so we get the wooden duck, uh, we get the... Uh, a town plan set of sorts, uh, and if you're wondering why there's a huge gap here, it's because LEGO as a company did not start off making bricks until later. Uh, we get a train, uh, the yellow castle of course, classic space, I think this is a fun mini set here. Uh, Fabuland, that's kind of an unexpected inclusion, uh, but I think it's pretty fun. Uh, and the Black Seas Barracuda of course, uh, and the Sphinx from the Adventure series. Uh, this was an interesting inclusion, I thought, uh, but I, I'm glad that Belleville got some representation because it did have some unique pieces uh, and it was pretty different uh, experiment. Uh, this is a Lego police station, uh, which is well done. It, I think it's cool that they included the helicopter even at this scale. Uh, there's a Technic Excavation Rover, so again, we're, we have a broad coverage of themes and building uh, methods, so Technic there. Uh, Ninjago, of course, um, which I'm not a huge fan of Ninjago, but there's no question that it is incredibly popular, and uh, it does actually have some good sets, especially some of the more recent ones have, been, have had some really interesting uh, building techniques and things like that. Uh, friends, of course, and Dots. Um, so some might argue whether or not Dots is important enough to include on here, uh, but I think that its inclusion just kind of helps showcase just the varying uh, building methods and like types of pieces that uh, LEGO has made over the years, like Fabuland, Belleville, Technic, uh, Bionicle, and so on. Uh, so yeah, and there's just a few more pictures here just showing those sets. Uh, but yeah, so I think this is cool. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to purchase it myself, uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments, and also let me know if this type of video is interesting to you. Uh, so give it a like and leave a comment, uh, because if it is, then I'll continue to make these, uh, and if not, then uh, I can do just more uh, traditional uh, Lego and board game videos. Once again, my name is Aaron, and you've been watching Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Bye.